welcome to Variant One Shot. Today I'm going to talk about which Hulk is stronger, the original Bruce Banner Green Hulk or another one of the coolest Hulks, the Red Hulk, also known as Rolk. For those of you who don't know, the Red Hulk is General Thunderbolt Ross, but I'll explain the Rolk's backstory and what he's all about in a future History of Red Hulk episode. Out of all the different versions of Hulk that are out there, these are two of my personal favorite. But in order to know which one is stronger, we have to know what their similarities and differences are. They're both two of the strongest beings on Earth, and both have incredible healing factors as well as great resistance to physical injury. And both of them have battled and beat some of the most powerful beings in the entire Marvel Universe. Pretty much if you know what the Green Hulk's power set is, then you also know Red Hulks, minus some differences which I'm about to explain. The main thing that's different about these two Hulks is how they increase their strength beyond their already incredible power. Let's start with the Green Hulk. As we all know, the matter he gets Gets, the stronger he gets, meaning his anger is what increases his physical strength and all of his abilities in general. And since there appears to be no limit to just how mad the Hulk can become, this also means there's no real limit to how powerful he can become. Hence Worldbreaker Hulk, which is when the Hulk became so powerful, taking a single step destroyed and tore apart Manhattan and almost sank the entire East Coast. As for the Red Hulk, his powers and strength increase as he's exposed to radiation, in particular gamma radiation. So the more radiation he's exposed to, the more powerful he becomes. He's also shown to harness and absorb a bunch of different types of radiation, such as cosmic radiation. And yes, I know what some of you are thinking, since he becomes stronger by absorbing radiation and Green Hulk is constantly putting off low levels of radiation, that means when they fight, Red Hulk's power would increase and you're 100% correct. But don't get ahead of me, and that doesn't necessarily mean that Red Hulk is stronger or that he can beat the Hulk. Let me explain, the Red Hulk's energy output is a lot higher than the normal Hulk's, and it was discovered by the Green Hulk that the angrier and more mad Red Hulk became, the hotter he became. Once Hulk found out about this, he was like, this could be a weakness. So when they were fighting, he let the Red Hulk hit him over and over until the heat became way too intense for the Red Hulk, at which point he became disoriented and vulnerable and the Green Hulk was able to take him out pretty quickly. Now of course this was all after he got some help from Thor, and after Red Hulk figured out if he took Thor into space, he'd be able to use Thor's hammer since, well, there's no gravity in space. I just had to mention that because it's kinda clever. But with all that said, this episode isn't about can or has the Red Hulk beat the Green Hulk. It's about which one is stronger. So let's answer that question. The best way to answer this is yes, the Red Hulk is stronger than Savage Hulk at base level due to the Red Hulk's unique power set and energy output. His downfall though is the madder he gets, the hotter he gets, which causes him to overheat and become vulnerable and disoriented. So even though Red Hulk can absorb radiation and cosmic energy, and has even once took over Silver Surfer's power cosmic and flew away on his board, which is extremely impressive, Red Hulk is still only more dangerous in the short term, as he will eventually overheat. So again, the answer is Red Hulk's base strength is stronger than Green Hulk's, meaning he's stronger in the short term. But at the end of the day, the Big J Giant can and has reached greater levels of pure strength. So I'm gonna say the Green Hulk is stronger, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, and also, who's your favorite Hulk? 